Okay, so hello guys. Welcome back to day three of the Oak National Academy daily recap on the year six. On year six. So let's jump straight into this. So for less first lesson, you may or may not have done it, as I say always. You have P with Joe here. He is there. You have P with Joe. He does it at nine o'clock every morning. There. So now if you've done that, you've got lesson one should be English here. What you're doing here is you're going to be identifying features of an information leaflet. So when you start lesson, first you're going to do your introductory quiz here. So what is the primary purpose of an information leaflet? This should be in give inform sorry inform the reader here. Then you've got complete the table below to show whether the structural fa feature belongs in an information leaflet. So here you should go not information leaflet, information leaflet, information leaflet, information leaflet, not information. There we are. Then it goes an information leaflet should. So here it would be allow the reader to learn facts and information about a topic. Then here, take the appropriate title to an information leaflet about life in Great Britain. Here the answer would be, Welcome to Great Britain. There. Now that you've done the quiz, you've got your video with Mr. Fozard here. Um, so, in the video, he may or may not ask you to pause the video and do an activity. After that, you've got your main activity, your independent task here. Task 1. Label the structural features here. So, you, so this title should be title. That should be subtitle here. Subtitle, subtitle, paragraphs, and picture, image. Task two: label the grammatical features. Here, it should be hyphen. It should be. I can't remember this one, I'll just check. This should be a fronted adverbial. This should be semicolon. This should be a dash. This should be brackets. There. Okay, this. And then this should be colon. This should be um rhetorical question this should be dash dashes and this but th and this should be um coordinating conjunction and then here it would be formal informal semicolon semicolon and um, this one I can't remember, I'll have to check that. There, then quiz. You've got, your, after you've marked your independent task, you've got your quiz here. So, the word of the day for this session is exquisite. Select all the words below which are synonyms. Here it'd be beautiful, elegant, magnificent. Which of the following words is spelled incorrectly? Here it would be pre-existing. What is the purpose of an information leaflet? This one should be inform the reader about a particular subject. Select all the structural features of an information leaflet used in this session. Here should be title, subtitles, paragraphs, image. Here. Which of the following structural features is used to introduce each paragraph? Here it should be subtitle. And which of the following is a grammatical feature of an information leaflet? This one should be third person. There. Now that you've done that, you've done your English, now that you've done it, lesson two should be foundation, your science. In your, this lesson, you're going to learn how fossils are formed and why, how they provide evidence for the theory of evolution. You're going to learn what fossil record is and why there are parts missing from your record. So, f in the, you have your introductory quiz first here. So... These are some of the things that you should have learned in the previous lesson. What is a characteristic? The physical f features of an organism, here, there. What is evolution? Evolution 
is the process by which living things gradually change over time. Then, observations about which animal helped Darwin to come up with his theory of evolution. It should be finches. What is the correct word to complete the gap in this sentence? Individuals that are poorly adapted are less likely to survive. What is the correct word to complete the gap in this explanation? Not all individuals of a species are exactly the same. There is variation between them. After you've done that, go to your video here with Miss Simpkin. And then after you've done that, she will ask you to pause the video sometimes and answer and answer a question or questions. There, after you've watched the video, you've got your quiz here. Which of these is the last step in the fossilization process? Here it would be this fossil is exposed at the Earth's surface. What is the fossil record? The fossil record is a collection of, a collection of fossils found across different ages of rock. If fossils are deeper down in rock, are they, are they newer or older fossils? It should be older. Which of, which of these is not a reason that parts of the fossil records are missing? These should be some organisms that don't have bones. There. Uh, after you've done that, you've done your quiz, well done. And you've done the lesson here, well done. And then here you should be doing lesson three, add fractions. Wait, in this lesson you're going to learn how to add fractions with different denominators and find term to term rules in fraction addition sequences. Um, it may sound a bit complicated, but when when Miss Parsons explains it, it'll be a lot easier. So you've got your introductory quiz here. Um, select the inequality sign here. That would be this. Here that would be this. Here that would be. Let me just check what's. Let me just check. Seven is the same. It's um, times that. So twenty thirty five. And what was the other fraction? That would have been two fifths. Sorry. Two fifths and two fifths would be fourteen. So that would be thirty thirty four thirty five. So that would wait. Oh sorry, yes. It would be this. Here, which is this fra fraction equivalent to in its simplest form? This should be that. This Convert 0 0.6 to a fraction in its simplest form. It should be that there. So now that you've done this quiz, um, go to your video with Miss Parsons. She will explain um, about um, term to term rules and how to add fractions. She will ask you to pause the video a few times and answer some questions. Now you've got your fractions, adding fractions with different denominators here. You've got your independent tasks. So add the fractions below. Here, what you do in this question is, you do ti times this and this by 2, which would be 6 eighths. And then add 6 and 5, which would be 11 eighths. And then make it 1 and 3 eighths. 1 and 3 eighths. That's the answer for A. Now B here, do this and this times by 3, which would be 9, 6. You should then do um, 6 and 7, which would be 13, which would, all, the answer would be 1 and 4 ninths here, 1 and 4 ninths. For C, you have to go a bit deeper. You have to go um, times these both to 24 so let's quickly do that let's quickly do that 5 6 and 3 quarters here so then what you would do is you would here you would do this and this times by 4 which would be 20 24 
And this would times this by 6, which would be 18 24 which would make 38 24 which would also be the same as 1 and 1 and 14 24 there so that's your answer that's your answer here there so the answer to this would be 1 and 14 24 here the same thing um the same thing here You've got to time, but just you need to times these um, to get to 45. Four ninth and two fifths. You need to make them go to 45, the denominator. So this one should be times by 5, which would be 20, 45. And this one would be times by 9, which is 18, 40, fifths here so here would be the answer would be let me see 38 40 fifths now would be the answer for this one 38 40 fifths question two add two fractions in the red circle to so find the total in the gray box between them the answer here would be would be seven tenths here would be seven tenths this one would be nine twentieths this one would be nine twentieths and this one would be would be three quarters here this would be three quarters question re three complete the sequence ensure that your answers are mixed in their simplest form to get here you have to add three quarters to this so we would go two and a half three and one qu one quarter and then it would go four there Question four. Add the fractions below. This is a bit harder as here they have um they have um whole numbers here. So let's just do that. So let's just do that. One and four fifths with two and seven tenths. Two and seven tenths. So what you would do here it times this by 2, which would be 8 tenths, with 1 there. So then add these together, 3 um, and 4, 4 and 5 tenths. So this one, would A would be 4 and 5 tenths. B would be 1, wait, no, sorry, this would be, let me see, this times... So this would be, let me see, um, let's see, 12 and 11 and half. So here what you do is times this by t 2, so it would be 24, 22. And this one times this by 11, which would be 11, 22. So we need to add them together, which would make 35, 22s. 35, 22s, which would make... One and one and how much? Thirty-four, thirty-five. Sorry, it'd be thirty-five twenty-twos, which would make and thirteen twenty-twos. Here, so it would be the answer for that que for question two would be one and thirteen twenty-twos. For C here. It would be, let me see, this is quite a simple one. You just got to times this and this by 2, which would be 7 and 4 eighths. 7 and 4 eighths. Number 9 here, nearly done. And 9 and 3 quarters. And we have... Mm, Two and four ninths, two four ninths here, and then uh, here what you would do is you would do here, you times them both to thirty six. So this would be times nine, so it would be nine and twenty seven thirty six. And this one would be times four, which would be this and sixteen thirty six. 
Now we need to add those together, which would make um, 11, 11 and 43.36 and 43.36, which would be 12 and 7.36. So this question would be 12 and 7.36. That might have been a big uh, mouthful, but after you've done that, go back, mark the, your answers. And then here, finally, after you've marked them, you've got your quiz here. So add the following fractions. One, qu one quarter add seven, add um, uh, three sevenths. What you do is convert them both to 21, to, um, so the denominator is 21, so this would be seven... The quarter would be seven twenty ones, and this one would be twelve twenty ones, which would be um nineteen twenty eighths, twenty eighths. Oh, sorry, it would be twenty eighths. Yeah, yeah. Add the following fractions. What is the answer? Is a mixed number in its simplest form. It would be here. It would be as a mixed number here. Here, you don't even need to do the question. As you can see here, that's not a mixed number. This is also not a mixed number, as the as it's a top-heavy fraction here. So it has to be B. You see the answer is B here. Again here, you can see these both aren't mixed, num uh, aren't mixed numbers here, mi not mixed numbers. So it's B again. And here you've got to find the missing numerator. So what you do here, here you add a quarter add a quarter oh yeah sorry so the answer here would be seven here seven and then here add the mix add the mixed numbers give the answer is an improper fraction which would be let me see this let's just see this one and two thirds wasn't it one and two thirds and four and three eighths. Four and three eighths here. We've got to add them together. So this would be twenty. Let's see what they want us to into twenty four. Yeah. So here, this you do times eight. So that would be one sixteen twenty fourths. This would be four. And so here you would times it by three, which would be nine twenty fourths. So that would make it. F f six, six and one twenty fourth, six and one twenty fourth. So twenty four times six is um. um wait a second, twelve. This so it would be one hundred forty four. One hundred forty four add one, which is one hundred forty five. So it'd be this. It'd be that. After you've done the quiz. Well done, you've done your maths, and you've also done your lessons on this for um, for Wednesday, the 29th of April, here. So now, um, I hope you did well, and goodbye, and stay safe.